This is so very true, unfortunately. Noelle said, I get more information from nurses, YouTube, Google, TikTok than doctors. It's sad. Thank you. Okay, first is my pleasure. Very, very early on in my cancer journey, like after I got diagnosed and the dust settled and, you know, I got over the shock, I wanted to start documenting not only for myself to look back on and see all the craziness I've gone through, but I wanted to help others because there's so many unknowns. And in turn, I have found this amazing cancer community that is so loving and supportive and oh, I just can't imagine my life without you guys, so thank you. As for the doctors, I feel that they only know what they've been taught and what they've learned on the job by listening to people like us. On top of that, as much as they try to relate and learn, they've never gone through this stuff. I guarantee you a fraction of these doctors have ever gone through what we are going through. So they don't know firsthand what it's like to go through, you know, chemo or have a lumpectomy or lose your breasts or go through radiation. They don't know. They've never experienced it. And their time with us in the office is so very limited. You know, it's very get in, get out. And they, they do their best, at least at my cancer center. Um, everybody there has been amazing. But the information that has really been helpful to me has come either from my infusion nurses, who are amazing. They are angels. And my fellow brothers and sisters that have gone through cancer treatment. Those are the two that have given me the most information. So I am just ever so grateful for all of you guys. Like I said, I can't imagine having to have gone through this without my cancer community. And I really feel bad for the people that don't know about us. You know, the people that aren't on social media for whatever reason, that are going through their chemo or cancer journey by themselves, it's hard. It's really, really hard. Cancer can be very, very isolating and lonely and depressing and frustrating. And so that's why I started Happy Mail, but you guys already know about that. If you don't, there's links in my bio and check my previous videos. It's been like all I've been talking about lately. All right, so there is my two cents on that. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.